Hey everybody, this is Kyle with the Guns, Gear, and John Deere channel, and you're watching Fred Hart and the Gear Obsession channel. Thank you very much, Kyle, for the introduction. Um, that is Kyle from the Guns, Gear, and John Deere channel, so check him out. I will provide the link below. So in this episode, we are going to be looking at a Klein Tools electrician's knife, and um, it's also known as a TL-29. It's a style of knife that's been around for a very, very long time. As a matter of fact, um, I sort of pulled this schematic <laughs> off the interwebs. And according to this, it's been around since World War II. And, um, you know, they sort of laid out certain specifications here that would qualify it as a TL-29. So anyway, I do have two examples. I also have another one here, which we'll take a closer look at here in a moment, that came out of a toolkit. Uh, basically, it was a big, big toolkit, and it uh, was basically also relating to electrician. So anyway, um, really cool. I've been just getting very, very nostalgic lately. You know, ever since I <laughs> came across this guy that I reviewed a while back with the U.S. stamp made by Ontario Knives. They call it the Ontario Camp Knife. Uh, also the Demo Knife. Again, also another knife from style from World War II. Um, primarily made by Camillus. Uh, same case here. The most, most of the electrician's knives that you will find are probably going to be made by Camillus, which is out of business. The Camillus that you may see around today is crap that's uh, stamped Camillus, but it's made in China. They just bought the name. And so far, my experience, everything that's coming from them now is crap. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at, at this. This is really, you want to stay tuned. This is an extraordinary knife. If, you're, if you collect knives... Even though these are not supposed to be collectible, I'm telling you, if you're nostalgic and you like old style type of knives, you're going to want one of these. <laughs> it's amazing how um, you could dig things up like this off the internet. But um, here it is, Klein Tools. I came across this at a electrical supply store, Electric and Light, here in my local area, and they had one left. And uh, I, I've actually had it out, and I've sort of already been messing with it. It didn't come exactly looking like this. And I sort of wanted this as a collector's piece, um, which is really ridiculous to most people. Because it's just a, a $20 to $30 knife. Actually, $20 on the low side, I sort of stumbled on it. But if you notice, it's very shiny. I sort of broke out the buffer, and I sort of buffed this up to make it look like something like... Uh, a high quality case knife when I got done with it but I polished everything up. The only thing that's left that sort of looks a little cheesy about this is the the plastic scales but um you know <laughs> I just wanted I wanted to make this into a collector's piece so bad that uh, I, I just spent some time and it was very hard to polish this because this is a uh, this particular version is not stainless steel. They do have a, a stainless steel version, but this is the high carbon steel version. This is the um, catalog number 1550.2. Now, um, there's also, let me take a look here at my uh, website. There's also a 1550 42 which is a stainless steel version. That's the only difference between the two. But, um, you know, this is just happens to be what was in the store. And it was like the last one. And he said, like, wow, I don't even think they're going to make these anymore. But I think they do because they're still listed on the website. But let's go ahead and, and check this out, though. You have a uh, spear point blade. Very common blade, especially amongst the old guys. You can see how shiny that is and how easy it, it will pick up fingerprints now because it did not come this highly polished I mean it was polished but it did not come this highly polished and now it's just full of fingerprints let me try to clean it off with my shirt a little bit but a um, really gorgeous knife and I want to show you the stamp here you can see it says Klein Knives and made in the USA that's right still being being made in the USA. 
So really, really nice. And um, you know, if you got a, a Dremel tool or you got a, a buffer, you could take up an old tool type of like this, you know, tool knife, whatever you want to call it, and, and make it look like a collector's piece, which is what I did here. You had the the old style like. Uh, I forgot what they call these now, lanyard holder, whatever. I, I used to know what these were called, and I forgot because of, I'm on camera, of course. But, um, whatever. So, really nice. By the way, this blade is high carbon steel. The blade length is two and a half inches long. And the total weight of this knife is four ounces. And when everything is closed up, the length of everything here is three and three quarter inches. So there you go. Now what makes this an electrician's knife is the other blade which by the way it, it's, um, it's very hard to get out and um, when I first got this the only way to get it out was with a screwdriver. <laughs> it was so tight but I oiled it and worked it back and forth a whole bunch to loosen it up. Now the reason why it's an electrician's knife again is because you have this um, I got dirt on the blade. Um, what you have is you have a, an edge here on this blade and you have a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver here on the tip so it's not sharp, you know, it's not a, a knife edge here, it's a screwdriver so you can turn screws with it. And one of the things that has to happen is it has to be lockable so you can see it's locked and the reason why it's locked is because of this um, liner lock which is made out of brass here. The um, original ones are made of brass. There are some out there today, you know, other manufacturers they might use something other than brass, but I was really thrilled to death when I opened this up and it had the, the brass, so it, I shined that up really nice. It's really cool. Now, a lot of people might wonder, what is this for? It's not sharp or anything, so what is it for? Well, <laughs> I was having a hard time finding out and then finally um, I came across uh, someone's statement on their forum it was like a knife forum and the person said yeah I was showing it to my mom and asking her if she knew because you know dad had one of these and she said you dummy it's so you could get to the nail neck on the other blade right there see that's all that's for it's just to get to the other nail neck instead of putting the nail neck on the the other side like they usually would today they put all the nail necks on the same side for both blades so they had to make a cutout on the electrician's knife blade to get to the spear point blade ain't that weird but uh, again it, it gives the uh, electrician's blade uh, that very unique look that you'll you'll always find that is the electrician's blade again very very cool, very nostalgic. I love this. Um, again, here's the one that came from the kit. Now, this this one, you know, that came with this toolkit, um, is much cheaper. Uh, just to show you the differences, because this this is high carbon steel and it's very thick. And you could see that the one that came with this kit, which is probably worth about ten bucks, you could see how much skinnier the blades are, and the quality is uh, it's just slapped together and there's even a lot of play you can see I could push that together where this one is made much much better by the way this this cheapo one is also made in the USA believe it or not and uh, and the, these are kinda common too and you you might have seen this name right there colonial and I think it was in Providence Rhode Island Providence USA and you can see right there. And I did sort of quickly polish this up a little bit just to make it look better. And you can almost see the writing that uh, I sort of took the writing off it just to uh, just make it a more generic example of another um, electrician's knife. And you can see how this one is only on you know only on one side, so the chisel ground. See that? It's totally flat on this side. So this is this is a cheaper example, and there's so many others out there, and it's also copied and and made in China. I'm going to show you the electrician's blade right there. Again, this one locks also has the same type of liner lock right there, 
that you just sort of push aside um, like that so you can fold it and now also this uh, like I said this these knives were referred to as TL 29's now 29 I don't know is whatever version knife or whatever but the TL stands for tool the T is tool L is line men you know electricians would go up and work on lines so that's why it was called the TL 29 so that's really it I just wanted to show this off again you could find this uh, the, the Klein tool one which is the one that I would recommend for uh, twenty to thirty dollars not really a collector's item unless you're just looking to rent out your collection and you just want something in this style I, I absolutely love this I think it really complements my uh, US demo knife with the bail that's what they call these the bail <laughs> you know just old style knives I'm just gonna I'm gonna collect uh, the classic military style knives like this whenever I come across what I am going to, going to just grab them up I love it I'm just getting so nostalgic lately you know I'm I'm sort of uh, tacticaled out <laughs> so that's uh, what we'll do here at the gear obsession channel every once in a while just sort of change things up a little bit make it interesting different well, let's uh, wrap things up real quick. I usually uh, do a whole bunch of tests, but this, this type of knife is not meant to stab or do anything tactical. It should be able to cut paper. Really, it came kind of dull out of the box. And to polish this and to sharpen it was just extremely difficult. One of the hardest blades I've come across to sharpen. And it's really weird because I could never get rid of, like, the, the edge, this razor edge, never gets smooth. There's always sort of like a micro serration kind of feeling to it. Um, will it cut paper? Sure, it will um, cut paper. Fine. But um, it, it's it's a really weird edge. A really weird edge. Um, you know, I don't know what kind of what, what kind of carbon steel this is. You know, but um, again, the stainless steel version might be a lot easier to sharpen than this carbon steel. So the thing is, this is probably harder and tougher than the stainless steel is my guess. But you have to keep it oiled or it's going to rust on you because it's not stainless. So it will rust quicker. So, you know, keep a nice coat of oil or um, if you do use it for some fruit, food prep every now and then, use something that's edible like um, frog glue. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Frog loop is uh, something that you can put on the knife that you use for food prep. So, there you go. Alright, so, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.